Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, full screen preview playback in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Prelude, and Speed Gray. Mercury Transmit is a software interface to get Adobe applications to communicate to external displays. There's two ways to do this. One, I'm just using an inexpensive HD display with an HDMI connector direct out of my laptop. Really simple. You can even commandeer the family television flat panel in the living room and have that as your secondary display. The other way is through professional hardware from manufacturers like AJA, Blackmagic, Matrox, and Bluefish. And the only benefit of those are SDI output calibrated displays, very high-end stuff, which are useful to some people. I'm just going to explore the HDMI side of things right now, or just the secondary display connected to your computer. The first thing you need to do is to extend the desktop, and it's the same on Mac and Windows. On Windows, that's easy by pressing the Windows key and the letter P, and here I've extended my desktop to a secondary display. And on the Mac, it's the same, just go into the preferences and extend the desktop. This won't work unless you're doing it that way. Again, I'm not using third-party hardware. I'm using just the built-in display that I happen to have right here. So now that I've extended my secondary display in the edit menu, preferences, playback, I can just turn on that secondary monitor. And up here, you've, I've enabled Mercury Transmit directly here, and you can see that's on. And when I click OK, it's now playing on here. So when I hit the space bar and play, I'm getting a full screen preview. Now it's behind me, so I, I wanted you to be able to see it while uh, I'm working on it, but normally this would be a secondary screen over here on the right or on the left or even above. Um, anywhere that you position that secondary display, it's going to work. The cool thing about uh, Premiere Pro is there's a few added things that we can add here. For instance, in the little wrench icon, overlays, if we go into overlays and turn them on, there's different settings for overlays. Um, I'm gonna do things like, let's turn on the uh, sequence time code at the top. There's the source time code on the left and uh, click on that. And you can see once I turn that back on, that's just the settings. And when I turn on overlay and hit playback, it's actually playing on the external display too. So back in the um, overlay settings, you have the option of enable overlay for transmit and enable overlays while playing back. All right, so that's useful to some people. I'm gonna turn that off. Another one that I like is if I create a new title, as soon as I create the title, it's gonna go out to that display. And when I grab any one of my templates, you can see that while I'm editing directly inside here, can see the output over there. So if I'm grabbing different elements and moving them around on the screen, everything goes with me so I have a good high quality display. All right, Mercury Transmit will also display whatever monitor is the, um, the active one. So this is my source monitor and this is my program monitor. That's the source monitor, that's a program monitor. So whatever is in the front in focus jumps out to there. All right, let's go have a look at After Effects. And over here in After Effects, uh, it's a little bit different. It's in the uh, edit menu on Windows. All the preferences uh, for, uh, for the Mac are under the application name. So the prefs for Premiere Pro and the Premiere Pro menu, After Effects menu, Prelude menu. Speed grade is different. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, so in the preferences here, we're gonna choose Video Preview. A little bit different. You can see we are enabling uh, Mercury Transmit and I pick my second display, click OK. Now when I hit my space bar, I'm outputting to that secondary display with all that big, beautiful um, motion graphics that After Effects has. All right, now normally you will have this turn on, disable video output when in the background. Uh, that would allow me uh, to jump to all these different applications and when that app is in the front, it takes over in the display. Screen recording won't allow me to do that, so I'm turning that off. Next, Prelude. 
Prelude is act exactly like Premiere Pro in the preferences, playback, Mercury transmit, same thing, turn on monitor number two, click OK, and now when I'm playing this back in here, I've got the full screen display. All right, the odd one out is speed grade. Let's go have a look. So in speed grade, if you tap the S key for settings, it brings up the settings and in the display section you can see we do have mercury transmit at the top and here's where you can pick your external hardware but down at the bottom if you're just using a dual display which is what I'm doing when I click enable I'll turn that on it actually turns it off in the interface and only turns it on in there you can't have both of these going at the same time the other odd thing about speed grade is that Back in the settings menu, you'll notice left and right and top and bottom. As I change these numbers, you can watch the display behind me start to go up, down, left and right and start to move. And now it's showing the background of that desktop. The way that you um, actually set this is you, ha you basically measure your display and, and the position of where things are going. This happens to be on the left 1920 pixels. So if I move my mouse to the right of my window, it means the display is actually over on the right hand side, which is 1920 pixels to the right. If my display is above my display and this display happens to be uh, 1080, then I would have to move this 1080 up. It's a little bit odd. Once you set it once, it's a sticky setting and then you're ready to go. So. Mercury Transmit, not just for Premiere Pro, but Premiere Pro overlays, titles, Prelude, After Effects, and Speed Grade. Make the most out of your secondary displays and get down to your, your local computer store and grab an inexpensive HD display, plug it in. Now you've got all this real estate and highly accurate displays. All right. Hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial, or there's a special link down in the description for you to do the same thing. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.